I invite everybody to take their seats, please, so we can begin the presentation portion of today's City Council meeting. Chair recognizes Councilmember Larry Green for a presentation. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council and, and uh, uh, members of the Chamber. I'm so excited to acknowledge and recognize a Civic Arts pilot project that has been sponsored by the District K Office. Uh, in conjunction with the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs, the Public Works and Engineering Department, and the Houston Arts Alliance. Through this partnership, we have transformed traffic control boxes located at various intersections throughout District K into Civic Art mini murals. On June 6, we unveiled the first mini mural traffic control box at the corner of West Belford and Willow Bend. Since then, 31 mini mules are spotted across District K, with more to come next year. The funding for this Civic Arts project has been made possible through my council service fund. More importantly, this Civic Arts project fall under the project fall under the umbrella of the District K Beautification Initiative, Clean It Up, Green It Up. Whereas we are fostering civic pride in and around District K neighborhoods. I'm very excited to bring Civic Art into District K and thrilled to work with Up Art Studio, which is the conduit for this mini mural project. As I mentioned, the purpose of the Civic Arts Project is to convert these bland traffic control boxes into some type of canvas. Once painted by local street artists, the traffic control boxes are intended to help install civic pride while beautifying neighborhoods and streetscapes across the district. Overall, the Civic Arts Project is a leg legacy initiative toward fostering civic art not only within District K neighborhoods but to the entire city. Before we read the proclamation, I'd like to acknowledge and ask to come forward the internal folks that helped make this possible. Ms. Manette Basil, Director of the Mayor's Office for Cultural Affairs. Ms. Sarah Keller, Houston Arts Alliance. Jeff Weatherford, Public Works and Engineering Department. Uh, Elia and Noah Keyless. And let me just thank Elia and Noah, who've worked with Manette and I to coordinate which traffic control boxes uh, public work Public Works approved and allowed us to transform. Uh, and also, uh, Up Art has coordinated and commissioned the specific artists that will transform each of the electrical boxes into colorful art throughout the district. The artists participating in the Civic Arts Project include, and if y'all, you would please stand, uh, Artists 212, Artics Alex Zou, Arzu, Anna Maria, Anat Rowan, Duel, Gabriel Prusmak, Jessica Guerra, Lee Washington, Sebastian Mr. D. Bolio, Pilot FX, Shelby Nicole, We're on Three, and of course Wiley. At this time, uh, Elia, if you guys could please come forward, and Mayor, we will present the proclamation. So whereas Nora and Elia, Kilius of Up Art Studio launched the pilot phase of traffic signal control cabinet, Mirror Mules, here in Houston, whereas the project in partnership with the, our office, the Mayor's office, and uh, the uh, Houston Arts Alliance, and Public Works, and whereas this project, Traffic control signal cabinets are used as blank canvases for local artists to transform into colorful works of art. These painted cabinets, once painted, will help install civic pride while beautifying neighborhoods and enhancing the urban landscape here in Houston. And whereby, whereas on July 28, 2015, the organizers and participants of the mini murals will be recognized for beautification of Houston. The city of Houston commends the artists and partners of this mini mural and extends best wishes for continued growth and success. I, I was trying to do my best Vanna White imitation and hold up the, uh, the uh, poster showing some of the great mini murals. And I want to thank and compliment you for thinking of this. It brought art into community. It gave canvases to artists. It gave work to artists. And I hope that uh, other uh, district council members choose to follow the, the, the trail that you have blazed. It's, a, it's just a great, great project. Therefore, I, Anise D. Parker, mayor of the city of Houston, hereby proclaim today as Mini Murals Day in Houston, Texas.
Thank you very much for having us here. Um, our mission with this project was to help instill civic pride with, with civic art to, and also to help celebrate our great city's diversity. Um, here with my artist who, who helped us create this wonderful project. Um, I'm excited to be here. And currently we are uh, closing out the pilot phase of the District K um, initiative. And we are on September 19th hosting an event. Um, we've uh, put a booklet in front of you. Um, we are currently seeking sponsorship for uh, for the event, and it'll be closing not only closing out the pilot phase, but it's also uh, will be kicking off the artist open call, uh, the citywide open call through the Houston Arts Alliance, as well as sorry, kicking off the capital fundraising campaign. Um, our goal is to paint 100 boxes in 2016. So um, we would love to get um, your support and um, hope that you will join us and join District K in this uh, initiative. Thank you very much. Chair recognizes Council Member Christie. Mr. Green, this is a, a great project and I was there with you all on, on June 6th. We were sweating bullets, but it was uh, it was fun. It was a beautiful rendition on the traffic control box. It was just, it just shows that we have great artists in this city and uh, a good goal to have a hundred of them. I, I know at my office, they put a traffic control in front of my office on Memorial Drive. And I planted everything in the world to hide that ugly thing. But that art that they put on that is just, it's a sight to behold. It makes, it makes the city more beautiful. And I, I appreciate this project. Thank you. Vice Mayor Pro Tem Davis uh, may have stepped away. I'm going to go to Council Member Wynn. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, I uh, thank you, uh, Council Member Green, for bringing uh, these folks here to show us their, their great work. I, I thank you for your work, and I thank you for always updating me um, on, uh, with the email on, on your progress. And I'm always excited when I open the, 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 the mail to read and know that uh, you're doing beautiful work around the city and uh, hopefully uh, District F will be the, the next area that, that you'll be working on. Thank you so very much. Council members, it's like Christmas, so every time a box is done, I run out there. It's like opening a new Christmas present because it looks so great. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you. Councilor Kubash. Absolutely beautiful. For those of you, I don't know if they can see this on the TV camera. I don't know if they'll zoom in on it, but... These are absolutely beautiful, and thank you very much for this initiative. It, it's an awesome day to uh, to be able to celebrate this type of artwork, you know, on things that you wouldn't expect it on. And thank you very much. Um, uh, Councilor Green, uh, congratulations on this. I know uh, you know I took to social media and commended you publicly about this, and and uh, thank you for your leadership and and all the artists for the amazing work. It, it's really. Uh, a, a great uh, attraction throughout you know the landscape so thank you very much thank you and let me just say too with the arts alliance and, and the mayor's office they've been extremely helpful so thank you guys so much for all you do in, in making this work uh, thank you council we appreciate it thank you yeah if you could come into the horseshoe and remove your name uh, uh, tags yeah for the for the photograph 